while recording it's about a hundred or so as you guys can see so i'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this in just a few easy steps Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or so we'll bring this video on my channel once again. Now today's Kronker video, I'm going to be showing you how to boost your FPS on Kronker in 2020. Now, as you see, when we click into the game, my FPS is while recording, it's about a hundred or so, as you guys can see. So I'm going to show you guys how to go from this to this in just a few easy steps. Now, as you guys can see, that was a drastic boost in FPS and using the right settings and having the right PC can also get you this FPS. As you guys see, when I click into the game, I have a constant like 300 ish. FPS which is pretty nice I know it's not UCD nice or anything like that but it's pretty nice for me since I have like a I have a pretty high tier PC but for some reason it just it does not work and I've tried everything so using this one trick has helped me a lot and I hope it helps you guys too yeah like almost 400 FPS literally 400 FPS looking at the ground let's go baby 430 oh my god but like I said guys this is super simple if you guys try this I guarantee you your FPS will go up but before we get into this video, if you guys are new to this channel and like to see, make sure you guys drop a like and also subscribe to the channel for more Crunker content like this. According to YouTube's calculations, only 37% of the people who do watch these Crunker videos are subscribed. So if you could take the two seconds out of your day to subscribe to me, it means the world to me. And then finally, if you guys are going to be buying Crunkies from the Crunker item shop, make sure you guys use creator code SORABLE. It'd be very, very appreciated. Let's get right into the video. So guys, my secret trick to getting more FPS is actually a very simple solution. So I played on Official Client pretty much my whole time playing Crunker. It's just been my preferred way to play Crunker. Didn't really use MTZ, didn't really use CC Client, didn't really use anything like that. But there's always been this one thing every streamer and YouTuber always told me to use, and that is Brave, guys. Brave is a web browser, it is absolutely free, and it is allowing me to get this FPS right now. Now if you guys want to also boost your FPS, make sure you guys go in the top link in the description, it will be my referral code for Brave. When you click on that link, it should take you right to the page where you're able to install Brave. Brave has been my saving grace, it has actually literally helped me out so much. On stream I went from having like 100 to 90 FPS to like 250 easily just by installing this browser. So guys, once Brave is installed, you're gonna wanna have to find it wherever it is on your PC where you installed it. You're gonna wanna have to right click it and then pin it to the taskbar or start whatever it says. Once you do that, it should be down here on your taskbar. Once you're there, go ahead and right click it and then right click this right here where it says Brave. Go ahead and right click it. And you're gonna see a thing that says properties. Click on properties and it's gonna pop up with this page. Now, whenever you guys do this originally, if you have not done this yet, you guys should see it just like this. It'll say where it is, what it is, where it was installed and at the very end you'll see brave.exe and then a little quotations thing you're going to click right after that press space just one space that's all you need and then i'm going to have something in the description and in the top of the comments that you guys are going to have to copy and paste right here so make sure you go to the quotation settings press the space and then press Control v to paste it pretty much what it is that it enters a code that makes your brave have unlimited fps because whenever you first install brave if you do not do this it'll just be capped at whatever your refresh rate is on your monitor so if you have 60 hertz you'll have 60 frames if you have a 244 hertz monitor you'll have 244 frames but if you do this it'll unlock the fps and allow you to have unlimited fps so once you do that press apply press ok now reopen brave and then once you guys load into brave you guys should see your fps skyrocket and then also if you want even more fps go into the settings and start looking at your settings here i would first look at your resolution see what it is if it's above like 1.2 i suggest just keeping it right there i would not go higher than 1.2 one is a very good normal place to have it and then if you guys scroll down a little bit you guys will see map details with a little red star next to it this is stuff like water and grass that actually takes up a lot of performance from your pc so if you guys go ahead and take that off and restart your game that should help as well and then there's also a lot of small stuff like particles and shadows and dynamic shadows and ambient shading and all that stuff bullet trails everything like this texture animation object animation weapon sh weapon shine all of that technically does not need to be on however i do choose it to be on because it does make the videos a little bit more interesting with the particles and stuff like that and overall makes the game look better but if you guys do turn these off you will see a significant increase in fps you'll just lose a little bit of detail of the game but your gameplay will not change at all so those are my best way to boost your fps like i said if you guys want to do this just make sure you click on my referral link in the description down below i'll also have it in the top comment along with the code that you need to put into the target which was the whole properties thing we did with brave and yeah guys it should help a lot if you guys do use my referral code it would be very very appreciated as it does help the channel out directly and now that i showed you guys how to boost your fps i'm gonna play a few games with this boosted fps because guys it's like low-key life-changing i'm actually quite excited and very happy that i am now playing on brave so it seems that we have found a pretty full game of newtown which is good because i love this map because the spawns are super predictable 
and that is one way to get easy nukes so let's go ahead and get one right now but yeah if you guys do end up trying this please let me know what your guys's fps was and what it ended up being love to see some huge fps boost in the comments saw so shotgun boy no it's ak boy or a runner boy oh my god i've been seeing a lot more runners since everyone's grinding for the uss crunk kind of funny honestly you want to pick up that kill turn around getting shot in the back oh my goodness gracious this guy's a flyer going to pick up this easy kill hop in the pool no water that was another thing guys like right there it does not have water due to map details being off so if that's something you're worth getting rid of for more fps i would help you out a lot oh goodness gracious going to pick up that easy kill come back through someone's spawning right here hello buddy how you doing today easy kill super speedy got runner boy how you doing today buddy Wait. for some reason my dpi feels really weird right now like my sensitivity feels like it's way lower than it usually is oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god please help me no that was so stupid oh and by the way for some reason they came out with a brand new undergrowth and they reverted it i guess the spawns were broken i personally did not have any issues with that but i guess other people did by the way, they added this new screen that is really awesome. It shows a leaderboard performance, so it shows how much you know XP you gained, KR, score per kill, KDR, win loss, rank, kills and deaths, score, all that. And they even have this third tab that isn't available yet, but it's coming soon, and that is medals. Very excited to see that for all the you know headshots, collaterals, 360s, etc. So for some reason, I don't know why everyone always picks team-based modes, dude. They're the most boring thing in this world in my opinion i don't know why people love them so much but my lord i hate them they're so easy and that's why there's it's just not a fun time like i would not doubt if i got the nuke now but it's not gonna be interesting getting you know two kills every three minutes the spawns are just predictable it's super easy i don't know also let me know in the comments down below do you guys like team-based modes or free for all a little bit more i'm personally more of a free for all guy but that's just personally me I don't know just you can spawn trap so easily which is cool it's all fun but it's really easy nukes but it's just eh. got him go over here give me spawning here yep what's up buddy how you doing hey buddy how you doing super easy headshot thanks bud let me get this flag like we're already on a 13 and we're not even trying now i say that and just watch i'll get killed easy kill there easy kill there get the flag got the flag come over here get his teammate more nope sadly so my teammate got hit with the blicky get him sub guest too thankfully i picked that kill up getting shot from behind i guess got him as well I'm on 21 health i think they're all spawning right here yep go ahead and pick him up or four kills off pick up guest eight right here yep okay so there's four people on their team but i'm just killing guest eight over and over again so i'm not really quite sure what's happening here and there you go the easiest nuke of my life oh goodness gracious of course i get blasted my pulling rate telep but yeah guys that was a really easy peasy nuke on brave with unlimited frames and fps boosts hope this helps you out a lot guys because i know it helped me out a lot this fps feels nice it really does but yeah guys like i said easy peasy nukes not because of brave just because but the fps boost most definitely helps and i really hope it helps you guys too truly because i know how it feels to have lower frames so if you guys do try this and it does help you please let me know in the comments down below especially with like an fps comparison i think it'd be really cool because yeah like i said i went from having like 100 frames to like 300 on stream easily all from downloading this and doing that little trick i showed you guys so one last time make sure you guys go to the description or top comment download brave with my referral link and then type in that little thing that i pasted down there and you should see a significant difference and like i said make sure you're checking your settings see what you have on or what you don't need to have on and stuff like that and yeah so guys we just won the game i love this new end screen and then as you guys see we went 35 and 1 we did get the nuke over to performance see how much xp we gained there we're almost level 100 40 kr 129 score per kill 35 kdr which is pretty sick rank 1 35 and 1 45 35 feels good man yeah like i said guys i've been using official client pretty much ever since i started playing crunker so this is a big change up for me that i really wasn't comfortable making yet but i'm very glad i did so i hope you guys try it as well and uh yeah guys i think that about does it for this video just real quick i just want to see how high i can get the fps on this computer so we go ahead and put that on then we're going to go to games and then we also have fps checker by techie and actually fun fact techie is one of the developers of crunker so right now it might be hard for you guys to see 
but we are getting 400 sometimes 500 oh, almost 600 fps i know this is probably isn't the most pleasant thing to look at but we're getting 550 fps pretty consistently so if you guys want to see the potential of your guys fps turn on an fps mod go to an fps map and just look at the glory of it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys drop a like a comment and also subscribe to the channel for more crunker content like this if there's any other tutorials you guys would like to see that i do do in my videos and my gameplay please let me know in the comments down below as well if there's something specifically i do that you guys want to know about please let me know because a lot of people don't actually even know how to get unlimited fps which is quite interesting so if there's anything else please let me know i'd love to help always want to see a fellow gamer getting more fps and guys i think this is actually the best way to end off the video guys brave is truly the best way to play crunker so guys one last time please go download brave and try it out for yourself couldn't hurt to try at least try it out easy peasy nukes all day baby let's go baby thank you guys so much for watching this video once again and as always it's been your boy cj or sorable i'll see you guys in the next one peace out